CompTIA ITF plus Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 6.2, Explain Methods to Secure Devices and Best Practices. Securing Devices. In the vast realm of information technology, the security of your device stands as a paramount concern. Just as you wouldn't leave the door to your home unlocked, you shouldn't leave your devices unprotected. This video will introduce you to the foundational methods of securing your devices. First up, we have antivirus and anti-malware software. Antivirus and anti-malware software are your device's primary line of defense against malicious threats as it is software designed to detect, prevent, and remove malicious software, known as malware, from a computer or network. You might think of it as a vigilant night, protecting your digital realm from would-be intruders. Now there are two primary methods used by antivirus and anti-malware software to identify threats. Signature-based threat detection relies on a database of known malware signatures, which are unique bits of code or characteristics specific to individual malware strains. When you download or execute a file, the antivirus software scans the file for these signatures. If a match is found, the software flags it as malicious. It's akin to a security guard checking a list of known criminals. As for behavioral-based threat detection, it observes the behavior of programs in real time. It uses heuristics, which are sets of rules or algorithms, to analyze the actions of software and determine if they are typical of malicious programs. For instance, if a file tries to access a large number of files quickly or attempts to hide its presence, it might be flagged as suspicious. This method is particularly useful for detecting new or previously unknown malware that doesn't have a known signature yet. In essence, while signature-based detection checks for known threats, behavioral-based detection uses heuristics to predict and catch new or evolving threats based on their actions. With an up-to-date antivirus and anti-malware in place, the next component used in securing a device is a host firewall. This is another type of software that is installed on a device. Its job is to provide protection by monitoring and controlling incoming and outgoing network traffic based on predetermined security rules. By filtering incoming and outgoing traffic, a firewall can ensure that harmful data packets are blocked, while safe ones are allowed through. These rules can block an unsafe protocol like Telnet or open a specified port number for approved traffic. Another important part of securing your devices includes enabling password authentication and changing default passwords when applicable. Enabling passwords on mobile devices, workstations, network devices, and servers is a fundamental step in safeguarding personal and professional data. Passwords act as the first line of defense against unauthorized access, ensuring that only those with the correct credentials can access the device's contents. When devices come with default passwords, they often follow predictable patterns known to many, including potential attackers. These default passwords are akin to leaving your front door unlocked with a sign saying, come on in. By not changing the default password or neglecting to set one altogether, users risk exposing sensitive information to theft, misuse, or cyber attacks. So set up up a strong, unique password to keep the digital gatecrashers out. As for our next method for keeping our devices secure, we have safe browsing practices. Navigating the vast world of the internet is comparable to attending a sprawling, never-ending party. To ensure a smooth and safe experience, it's imperative to follow a few guidelines. First, stick to the VIP section by visiting only trusted sites, think of it as avoiding the sketchy corners of a party. Next, keep your browser up to date. Much like you'd wear the latest fashion to a trendy bash, ensuring your browser is equipped with the latest security features, updates, and patches keeps your searches fashionable. Also, steer clear of unsupported browsers, using one is like dancing in shoes with broken heels. Very risky and prone to mishaps. Lastly, set your browser to give you a nudge before downloading anything. This way, you're alerted to potential gatecrashers trying to sneak onto your device. By adhering to these practices, you can enjoy the digital party with confidence and flair. Now, the last item on the list for keeping your device secure is to regularly install updates and patches. And in keeping with our party analogy, updates and patches are like the refreshments and tune-ups at our grand digital party. Imagine you're at a bash, and someone brings in a fresh tray of snacks or tweaks the sound system for better beats. That's what updates and patches do for your software and devices. 
Updates are the newer versions of your software, bringing in cool new features, smoother interfaces, and often, snazzier graphics. Patches, on the other hand, are like quick fixes to a wobbly DJ deck or a flickering disco light, they address specific issues or vulnerabilities that might have cropped up. Now, why are they the life of the party? Without these refreshments and tune-ups, your software might become outdated, or worse, vulnerable to those party crashers, aka cyber bullies, looking to spoil the fun. So, always be on the lookout for the latest updates and patches for your firewall, browser, and especially, your antivirus software. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.